Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, if you guys watched the episode 60 of my survival series, towards the end we were like, oh, we, we built some pads for some mining ships, so I was like, oh, we're going to build them in creative. So here we are, we're going to build mining ships that are designed to be used with Pam's Auto Miner. So that's pretty much it, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I've not got a plan, but you know how we do on this channel. We make we make things up as we go. Now, <clears throat> quite importantly, the room we have to build this is about this much because the pads are quite small. So the connector's like here, and these really can't go back far. <clears throat> so you can see my uh, situation there. But I think we should be fine, to be to be honest. That looks so small. Yeah, we should be fine. So I'm going to have, obviously, all the gubbins needed for PAMs. But I'm also going to have the ability to pilot it myself as well, just in case I need to do any work. So, I'm going to go for something like this. And then... Mm, 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 mm. Maybe like an O2 gen. So it can refuel itself as well. Might go with the fighter cockpit, just because it's... It's lined up quite nicely, really. I don't think it needs to be that light on the back if that makes sense I'm going to put a battery on it though small battery I like the way the warfare one looks and then we're going to have conveyors obviously we need some forward thrust here I'm not a fan of that cockpit I'm not going to lie Obviously, this is going to be industrial, so. I want it to be fairly nippy. Dry. I want it to be fairly nippy, actually. I, mm. And again, do I? I'm thinking of doing a bit of ion, you know. I'm genuinely thinking of doing a bit of ion. Yeah, no. Oh wait, it was sticking. It was sticking out weird, cook. It's still. It's. It's too far. It just. It goes out way too far. <clears throat> I don't know what to put there. Maybe the hydrogen tanks. Ooh, that could work nicely, actually. Heavy industry, just because I want more DLC, obviously. I'm thinking something like... I don't make it go down. Oh, what is happening here? Is that in line? That's not in line, is it? Oh, it doesn't need to be hooked up anyway. Now that I think about it. Um, and then we'll have T junction. Oh no no no! We need a full conveyor. I'm just trying to figure out why do I keep typing cock. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how we're gonna do the thrusters layout here because I want it to be hybrid. I want hydrogen and ion. But I want it to be able to fly on all ion as well. Just in case it runs out. Obviously it's quite back heavy, but that's just <clears throat> that's just the nature of the drones. Now, I don't know how much is needed to lift this, but I I suspect it's not a lot. Simply because 
We're on the moon. This is a lunar miner. So I think three would be plenty. In terms of side thrust, I think one hydro is plenty. Down, I think one. Again, one hydro is plenty. Now, obviously we need ion. This is the tricky part. I'm going to sling it underneath like this. I think that's quite a nice place to tuck it. And obviously we need reversing thrust. I think we'd get away with putting a hydro there, you know. I, g I genuinely think we'd get away with that. We'll give it a go, though. Now, it doesn't look brilliant, okay, but it's, it's coming together now. I've really got to think how I'm going to, how I'm going to curve this back end in here. <laughs> Oh, dearie me, what just came out of my mouth? Right. <laughs> I'm thinking... I can curve the back end in quite nicely. With these blocks. Is it just me or are they really low quality? Am I on medium? I am on medium. Right, that looks more acceptable. Yes, I was wondering why the game looked a bit funky. Right. Yeah, I think that I think that kind of works in a in a bit of a weird way. I want these to look pretty decent though as well. So I'm actually going to greeble this up a little bit here. Um, oh, that would have been. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think they can go through them though. Maybe they can go through. No, crap. Yeah, that would have been good. Damn. Got a incorporate it into the front of the ship as well though I think there's a block for that maybe we could do maybe I could do something like a weird way I could do something with this this might be a bit out there to be honest Kind of doesn't look terrible. I'm just trying to think. It kind of gives it a unique look, you know. I'm not even going to lie. Um, obviously, we can get conveyor caps on them. But then it's just, it's balancing out th this bit as well. Um, that sort of works. This is, this is just a simple blast door job. I think. Might be a bit much. Column. And then maybe just like some windows or something. It's just as like struts. And then I think here we can throw in that beam block. Like that. And that should not burn. Um. 
Mm. Don't think we need anything right there. And here, I think we'll throw in a beam block again. Wrap it round like that. And then, yeah, I think that looks all right. I think we've got to carry that up. I think we've got to do a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, I think I can make this work here. This look, this does, uh, just hear me out. This does look a bit goofy, but hear me out. It's, yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't want to just do that, you know what I mean? It's, that's a bit, mm, I don't know. Maybe. <gasps> what did I delete? Which way, which way round were they? That way, I think. How many hydrogen tanks has this thing got? Four. It's not brilliant, to be honest. We can cram some more in, though. Maybe. Yeah, we can, we can cram some more in right here. I know this looks a bit naff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it up. I promise. What if we did like a bit of this? Give it a bit of shape. Oh wait, that's not quite worked. Yeah, what if we did that and just just gave it a little bit of shape? Still got no depth. Nah, I think it's just. I think it's. Oh, this is a tricky bastard. It doesn't all it doesn't all have to be smooth to be fair. Let's have like a little Mind you it's got a, it's got a bore, hasn't it? Yeah, it does have to bore. Okay. <clears throat> oh whoa. Alright. Don't need that. Antenna, ore detector, and then we need the goodies. So we need a remote control block. We're going to need... I should have thought about this. Yeah, we're going to need a, a display. Which I think, I think you can do using the in the, the cockpit one. You probably can, but just in case, when I find the block, oh no, it's not gonna let me put it that way, is it? <laughs> oh no. Balls. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Let's see what magic I can cook up. Oh yes. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah. Wait, why does that look weird? Is it back to front? Hang on a minute, wait. Yup. Wait. Oh no, oh no, man. Now I'm confused. Wait a minute, what is going on? My brain. It needs to be this way. Right? Okay. I know, I know this is cursed. I'm just seeing what works. I'm just seeing what works. It still doesn't work. It must be upside down. Okay, okay. Okay. My brain was starting to smoke then. Jesus. I want this to look a bit more robust. I can't. I, just, I want a curvy block in there as well. I don't know. I just want a curvy block. I need it. Curvy, curvy. Uh, piston head. Um, right. So it's got it's got a, an antenna, remote control. We do need a gyroscope. We're gonna plug two in under the uh, the ass. And then we'll have a backup battery as well. Just in case. Oh yeah, I, was, I said I was going to sort of fix this bit up and I never did that. Uh, yeah. That is a hecking chonker of a mining ship. It looks like a mining ship though. It's pretty fucking fat. It's very back heavy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this needs a sensor as well. I don't, th I don't think that. I don't think it matters where that goes though. So put a sensor there. And then I'm sure it needs a camera as well. I'm sure it does. Where's the curvy blocks? Where the curvy block? Spotlight. I was supposed to do a camera, wasn't I? We can fit a camera somewhere. Yeah. Yo! Wait, is that gonna... No, it works! It... <laughs> that is cursed. That is cursed. That is hilarious, though. I'm definitely keeping that. I'm definitely keeping that. I feel like it just needs more weight on the front, do you know what I mean? <gasps> what was there? Sideways ions. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, let's just throw some extra, like, I don't know, battery power here, just... Because we might as well use it.
How can we connect? Ah, oh, that's too far. It's gonna look way too far. What can pass through a small, small ion? What can a small ion pass through? <laughs> hmm. I want to bridge this gap. Don't think I'm going to be able to though. Just assessing the situation. If that sensor goes off one more time. Yeah, I'm not massively a fan of. Okay. That looks a bit better, to be fair. Right, that's not. A complete eyesore. Um, on the top, we'll have. What else would we need? Oh, we do need a programmable block. I want this accessible from the ground. Just pop it there. Uh, a couple of piston heads. These are quite wide. Let's just size it up real quick. So it should be able to... Oh! oh. No! My face! My face! It's literally fallen off. It's taken my face off. Where are you going? Silly sausage. I'm just trying to... Aha! Voila. It's quite nippy, actually. Yes. And it fits on the sides as well. Lovely. Joyous. It's pretty cheap as well. It's battery powered. Can you get much better? No. No, you cannot. Arga. I won't work anyway, because... Uh. Fuck it. Armor panels. Heavy armor panels use metal grids. I did not know that. Um... Do like a little little bit of spaced armor greeble. Well, actually, this will genuinely protect it. So, yeah. I think it would look cooler actually if it was like. this. Right, cool. And then we'll have a uh, we'll have a light indicator as well. These are going to be quite high tech. Okay, so, so, so they're going to have a... just so I can keep track of them. The, these will be the blinkers. So 
So these will be blinkers. So I can see them coming, you know what I mean? It's like if you blow it on the moon, you'll see, you know. And then we'll have the mining lights. So the way I like to do these is set them to orange and then blink one second, set one to 50% delay, wherever that is. And then they'll just alternate. See how they alternate. Nice, like, I don't know. It's just nice. And then we'll have another light. This will be the load bearing light. So if these are red, uh, warning, hazards, and then these will be load bearing. So, if these are on, it's carrying a fat fucking load. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm going to use an event controller. I've crammed quite a lot of, of goodies onto this. I'm quite happy with it. Yeah. Uh, if it's above seventy five, it's load bearing. No, not that. And then, second action, oh wait, so, load bearing on, load bearer. no, fuck. There we go, on, off. Nice. I didn't figure out what to do with this, did I? I've got an idea. Works a charm. Right. Let's give her a lick of paint. The drones aren't they, so mining drones on the moon. What colour are we having the what colour are we having the lunar base? I think I think if we haven't even thought about that in the survival series, you know. But I think I think red could be a cool colour. Let's try red. I'm not sure which red though, so I'm just sort of taintedly going for that one for now. Probably more grey on this. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to get to that blast door right there. Come on, you sausage. Yes. So let's just paint all of the function blocks grey. Real quick. Uh, no. Uh, how are we going to get there? Oh, that's an absolute bastard to get to. Yeah. Nice. Right. Okay. 
That's um, still a lot of red. Let's try to do some stripes. No, that was fucking stupid. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um... I feel like it needs more grey though. Mm, maybe not that much grey. That should be grey. That should be grey. Yeah. Okay. Don't know why that's like that. It should, should be a block for that somewhere. Nice. Quite happy with that, to be honest. So I'll probably do a little bit of touching up and stuff, but overall, I think, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, take care, everybody.